Let's get everything out of here. Tables, chairs, table settings, go in bins. Everything out, let's go. Where are we going? That staff meeting was off the chain. We got a lot of anger out, a lot of points going on there, and hopefully we got to my boss, Chef Ramsey. <sighs> he did his thing. What a mess. What a mess. How many times a day do you clean? No, no clean. I no clean. Down. No cleaning. No cleaning. When was the last time somebody wiped the shit dust that's dripping into the food that's above the hot plate? When was the last time? Somebody talk to me. Ain't never been done. It, it's like never been done. Years. Oh, my God. Are you fucking kidding me? And look at that in there. You cook food on top of that. It's so thick with grime and shit, you can't even see the grills anymore. That's not good at all. When was the last time that was cleaned out, Anthony? I didn't, I didn't clean it. You haven't. You've been here 30 years. Well, I, I, yeah, I have cleaned it years ago, but... Come on, guys. Dare I? My god. It's like fucking Halloween in here. What's that there, Chuck? That's mold. Black mold, the most dangerous fucking type. Oh, my god. <laughs> Shit. There's no dates on any of this stuff. It's just a cesspit. Fuck it now. You are fucking kidding me. Raw beef with cooked fried chicken. Oh, my god. More chicken. More chicken. Nine containers of fried fucking chicken. How much fried chicken does one restaurant need? Have you calculated how much money that we are wasting currently? A couple grand easy. Minimum. And you wonder why you're the busy idiot running around fucking five times a day looking for product. Mm -hmm. And these guys can't even get their fucking paycheck cashed. Here's your fucking answer. What's kept in here? That's all the seafood Food is in there. All the seafood. What's that? That's oysters. Gross. It's all slimy. An 87-year-old lady was sat having lunch with me today, and she said her oysters, they don't smell good. Were we serving with them minutes ago? I need your nose for one thing, though. Ain't been in about a week, probably. Truthfully? Yes. yes. Shit. Anthony, you're sweating. I understand why you're sweating. It's a ticking time bomb, especially with oysters, out of the shell. If it's not oysters, it's cod. If it's not cod, it's fried chicken. One, two, three, four, five of you should be ashamed. You're fucking lucky you haven't killed anybody. 81 years down the pan, because we can't stay clean. You've been given a restaurant, and you're playing with it. Please tell me there's no other fridges around. Fuck you now. You are kidding me. Come on, guys. You have to be joking. I don't get it. I don't get it. Actually, that case of apples I brought in here for everybody to eat. That's where it came from. We don't even use them. What? That's what we don't use those. Isn't that what happened? Is that where those apples came from? Are you saying that's an excuse? No, I'm not saying it's an excuse. I'm done with bullshit. Seriously! I've asked Tara and Lou to step away so the staff can speak more freely. Somebody tell me truthfully what on earth is going on. I don't know why he's angry all the time. We come in at 4 o'clock and everybody's in a good mood. Yeah, yeah. By 4.15, we're out here saying, you got to be kidding me. He's miserable back there and he wants to make some of us miserable with him. It's hard when you come in and you have to see him, like, belittle everybody around you, because that stresses me out. It's hard to concentrate, get things done. Taylor, you're a pastry chef, right? I do everything, actually. I, I do everything. Wow. Out of all of you here, how many have considered quitting? Raise your hands. Yeah. How many of you feel that you've been abused? Wow. Uh, it's actually unreasonable, and he takes no accountability. Yeah, how do you work like that? I work better when he's not there. Why are you still here? I need the money. You need the job. I have four kids. I'm currently a single mom. And what's your background? Mm, 
Graduated culinary school in 98. With two decades of experience, does Lou respect you as a chef? I think he, re he respects me as a cook, but not so much as a chef. Two different things, a cook and a chef. How does that make you feel? I feel not important. Almost disempowered. Oh, absolutely. Right. I need to work under yeah. people that have integrity and trust me. So this man has a team underneath him that have been handicapped. Yeah. I want to get them both. Lou, two seconds, please. Would you come back out, please, uh, Tara? Thank you. So, Lou, why are you so over-controlling and don't trust a single member of staff in here? I'm not, I'm not perfect. What a pathetic, desperate answer. I wish I could come here and have so much more input. Yeah. We can't work full time in a restaurant because we have kids. You know, we have six kids between us. We have passion and we all like to do food. <laughs> Taya loves food, but I wish you would trust me. It's not about trust, it's about what you just said. Some of the moms that do work in the kitchen can't commit to what the kitchen needs. It's not that, the moms are very capable. It's just working six nights, five nights a week. What do you mean moms? How yeah, fucking chauvinistic. No, no, no. They, they, they can't be. You have children. And my wife is able to be home with them. Oh my God. This guy's a dinosaur. I've got something like 85 female chefs. And if they're good enough to be a head chef three nights a week, they get the job. If it's four nights a week, they get the job. If it's one night a week, I believe in talent. This man doesn't believe in talent. Whether you're here three nights a week, two nights a week, if you're good enough to run that kitchen, girl, you run that kitchen. Lou, I was in there firsthand. I've got a camera in my hand. I'm not impressed with your behavior. I'm disgusted with the way you treat the staff. And like I said, I'm done with your bullshit excuses. I don't know what to say. I'm sorry, guys. You're sat with your back to your team. You shrug your shoulders and you tell them you're sorry. Oh, boy. You got a lot of people that love you in this room. You don't have to be angry. You can trust us. It's not just a job. Yeah, we have a lot on the line, too, because we got bills to pay, but we love you guys. Your family, your children. <laughs> Let this genius in front of you help you. I'm here to turn this place around, with or without him. <coughs> Smell it. People think this is exaggeration. I'm not fucking around. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to apologize on their behalf. What you witnessed was appalling. I am going to try my best to fix this place. But I would like to ask you to come back in 24 hours from now. Please, I appreciate it. That 24 hours starts now. Staff, get on your cell phones because nobody's going anywhere. So you need to roll up your sleeves and commit and get this place out of the abyss and back on the map. I just gotta let everybody know for like the next 24 hours, I'm, I won't be able to answer anything because I'll be busy. I'm gonna call you back. I just got a lot going on today. I mean, I'll keep you updated as soon as I know something. I've just apologized to those patrons. Victoria, what is your position here? Technically, I'm a waitress and a manager. What are you employed as? A waitress. A waitress. But then you manage as well? Sometimes. Why? Because no one else is here to do it. Wow. Why'd you stay here? I think it's a loyalty thing. I've been here since before we even opened. So I want to see this place succeed. And I want to be able to say I'm so proud of the place I work at. And how are you feeling right now? Embarrassed. Mm -hmm. And used. Mm -hmm. I mean, Jermaine is such a good person. He's not a bad guy at all. At all. And I want to help him as much as I can. And I've put so much time and my own money into this place. Sorry, your own money? Yeah. What does that mean? I bought ice this past week because our ice maker doesn't work. It came out of my pocket. Jermaine, can I just have two minutes on my own with the team, please? Can you get some fresh air? 
Just go for a walk, please. Oh, boy. You're now buying items for the restaurant. Yeah. I mean, that's beyond loyal. He's the owner. You're not the owner. Whitney, why has Jermaine lost his way? He's just never... I don't think he never really had it. Leadership, I can't say that that's ever been anything that Jermaine has. Ever? He's... Why would a guy that can't be assertive, can't be a leader, can't motivate, why would you open a restaurant of all the businesses in the world? He just wanted to make his parents feel proud of him. Make his parents feel proud with this incarnation. Oh, man. I didn't want him to open a restaurant, to be honest. I told him, like, no, I think this is a bad idea. Let me go get to me. Come in. Aye, aye, aye. Very depressing. Jermaine, do you have any idea how to run a restaurant? Not a clue. Not a clue? This is Major League. This is money running out the door. Costs that we burn to keep the lights on and the stoves hot. It's insane. Like I said, I didn't understand what I was getting myself into until I was already in it. So I've been trying to Whitney wing it ever since. Whitney said, don't do it. I said I'm here to help. I am going to start teaching you, but you need to step up. Otherwise, there's no point in me being here. Is that clear? Yes, sir. I'm here to make sure they can get back to business as usual. And that means some tough love and starting over from scratch. General, shall we? Yeah, sure. We're heading to lunch at the Ellicott Mills Brewing Company. We have a table upstairs. Five yeah, this upstairs. The restaurant that is merging with the condemned Phoenix Emporium from down the street. If this is going to be a mainstay, I need to make sure the food will keep the tourists coming back. How are you, my darling? Mm. Hello. Good to see you. Good to see you as well. Likewise, hey. Good to see you. Lovely, how are you? What's with this sort of German influence? Austrian wild boar goulash. Yeah, it's a little bizarre menu right now. Come on. What the fuck is that? Some weird ass salad. All right, what can I get? This gentleman's gonna have the schnitzel. Okay. I'd like to have the ribeye steak, please. Battered rockfish, please. Okay. You did the smoked pork chop? Okay. Thank you, guys. Hey, Doc. Yo. When you get a chance, can you throw out some chicken? Please and thank you. Certainly. And the economy in general, in terms of the local businesses, how hard is it for them to survive in the current climate? It's been difficult. Yeah, absolutely. Sure. Yeah, stigma. Yeah. Oh, oh boy. Oh, that thing looked good. Jaeger schnitzel with red cabbage. Thank you. How depressing does it look color wise? Oh, my yeah, God. I know. A little draft. <laughs> yeah. What did you get? The uh, schnitzel, which is pretty bland. How is your ribeye? Got a little gristle in here. Yeah. A little tough there. How is... The batter tastes pretty good. The rockfish is a little dry. That's not mashed potatoes, is it? It's a uh, German potato German salad. Potato. Wow. Ice cold. Yeah. It's ice cold, yeah. <laughs> My God. Ladies, the food wasn't a highlight, but the company was. Yeah. So nice to meet you both. It was nice to meet you. May I just have your attention, please? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry. Can you get the whole kitchen brigade to come out into the dining room, please? Doc, Nick, can you come out front, please? <laughs> oh, wow. <laughs> it's Gordon Ramsay. <laughs> Uh, Mark, I just want to say, whilst that wasn't the best experience upstairs, I need you to know that I'm here to help. Thank you. What I need you to do now is to get everybody from the top of the street to the bottom of the street outside the Little Market Cafe urgently. Yes, Chef. I'll see you outside shortly. Gordon Ramsay's here. <gasps> what? Let's go. Gordon Ramsay's in town. Let's Gordon go. Ramsay, that is incredible. Gordon Ramsay. Here to help. Let's go. Let's go. Come on. So awesome, man. This is awesome. What, what, what? This is so cool. 
Gordon Ramsay's here. No shit. Oh my Ready? gosh. Let's go. So we're gonna get yelled at, basically. We're no, gonna get screamed at. He's here to help. Let's go. Let's go, ladies and gentlemen, please. Hey. How are we? Hello, where's Jenny? How are you, my darling? Oh my How god! Are How are you? What are you doing here? Come here, quick. What Come here. here. I'll explain. How are you? I, I'm good. Oh my goodness, me. <laughs> Oh my goodness, me is right. Are you okay? I'm not okay. Can I borrow you for two minutes, sure. please? Sure. All of you, come out. Oh my Let's goodness, go, you're please. So tall. Oh my god, what is going on? Oh my god. Please come out. Oh come my out. god. What is happening? <laughs>